of the police vehicle. So this is the situation. The police is, is willing and ready to arrest any individual who will misbehave. And that warning came from the SCP. SCP, the, the divisional commander for Kaneshi District. He is the one in charge of this election. Another guy has been arrested. Another one has been arrested, making about four. So four people so far have been arrested for misconduct and obstructing the duties of the Ghana Police Service. Four people have been arrested so far for distracting the, the work of the Ghana Police Service. So, wow. And people are putting stones. Some of the delegates are putting stones. Some of the delegates are putting stones. So that is the situation. This is the current situation here at the police of peace. They are putting stones at the police. They are putting stones. The police are running for cover. They are putting stones at the police. The delegates are putting stones at the police. They are putting stones at the police. The delegates are still, are still, are still fighting in a fisticuffs with the police. Putting stones. Putting stones. A very chaotic situation. Very chaotic situation at the moment. Very, very chaotic situation at the moment. Here at the Prince of Peace School, Bubuashi. Prince of Peace School, Bubuashi. Where the delegates. Oh, that's it. So, the delegates, the delegates are putting stones. The delegates are putting stones at the Ghana Police Service. The, the delegates are putting stones at the Ghana Police Service. And we've been asked to withdraw and take cover behind the police. So that has been the advice from the Ghana Police Service this morning. Uh, here at here at Bubuashi, Prince of Peace, where the NPP is expected to conduct elections for the Okankwe Sad constituency. Constituency election. And of course, the Electoral Commission have you called a move from their car, getting themselves ready uh, to ensure that this election is conducted. So the, 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 the police is clear in their minds that this election will go on. However, the delegates are resisting, saying it won't, because they are alleging that their names have been deleted from the register. And this is a situation that won't allow the police and the Electoral Commission to proceed with the conduct of today's election. So this is currently the situation. I can count about four people behind the police bucket, the police vehicle, who have been arrested for obstructing the work of the Ghana Police Service, for obstructing the work of the Ghana Police Service, and equally pre preventing the electoral commission officials to gain access to the, to the, to the, to the, to the venue. But the police is the Ghana Police Service. They are to maintain law and order. And you are resisting. The police is for no one. No one. No No one. No one. No one. Okay, so this man is saying that he is not part of the people who are misbehaving and obstructing the EC from getting access to the entry. But boss, we are, we are, we are, we are executive Wahana. May your organizer. Because the people have been uh, defranchised. And of which I'm telling them, when the agitation went on, I was here since morning 4 a.m. I've been speaking to them. But, but, but there are those who say that you are, you are you are a leader in this constituency. You must control your people. You have to work hand in hand with the Ghana police. Not me controlling the people. But the right thing must be done. The right thing must be done. I've been organizer for eight years. I know the integrity of this constituency. You can't allow the NDC people to infiltrate in our album, of which I know them. And the people are here agitating. I'm just telling them they should calm down. The elections were, we were told that the elections will come on 30th. So why is it that the elections are coming on this Thursday? That no one is away. Uh, that's what the, all of them are agitating. But you held the leg of a police officer. No, were you there? I saw you. I mean, you saw me. You, you, you saw me. One of the police officers were really. And the driver was also driving on us. That is, that is Do you want me to die? 
If I have to die, I have to die with somebody. You have to work hand in hand with the Ghana Police Service. No problem, man. You have to work hand in hand with the Ghana Police Service. Oh, then. oh no, I want fair. That's not, that's not the issue. It appears the police is very disappointed in him because he is a, a constituency executive. A constituency executive. Constituency executive. You are condoning an illegality. So you know the truth. Why don't you speak the truth? And what is the truth? The truth is about 40% of the people have been removed from the album, of which the people are all at as an organizer, I have to calm them down, of which we're all standing there. You know, you say you saw it. The people said the car will not allow, of which I was there telling them to. And all of a sudden, the car moved. The only thing that can save me is to hurt a policeman. So, when you were there, you saw the police car driving on me. You know. I saw, I saw, I saw that. That's Do you regret your action, sir? It's not about regression. Is about making sure that the illegality should stop. Right. So, so four people so far have been arrested, uh, including one constituency executive. Uh, um, uh, uh, he's a constituency youth organizer, and he's been arrested. Constituency to destroy MPP. Masa, the queen woman, oh by oh by so giant. Says you want to put a woman a crown on old album. We all agree that we are going to maintain the old album. But now, things have changed. The Queen Yuma, where you delegate, all delegate, your old album now you see you maintaining. The Queen Yuma, and our constituency secretary, and our research, Omar Fakwambi also, and you delegate 413 out of the out of the album. The dead in the out. The but, but should that constitute? I mean, uh, first the comes and disagreement with the police. In the first place, the police did not respect the law because we've served them an injunction and a copy was shown to the commander. But he still insisted that he is going to make sure the election is held today. So in the first place, the police didn't respect the law. You've been arrested. Do you regret your action? My regretting for exercising my, 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 never. My name is Ambrose Otuoya Bwajan Bibi, a son of a man. So when Tia, yet to have a man, another dunk, just internal politics, look at the police around, about 50 police personnel, internal politics, the queen human, then queen up here. I see. So these these individuals say they've not regretted their actions. They were defending the constitution of the party and of Ghana as well. And so even though they've been arrested, will be processed to courts according to the Ghana Police Service. They do not regret the action, even though, I mean, they were obstructing the lawful duties of the Ghana Police Service, who were assuring the officials of electoral commission to this venue to conduct their election. So uh, they seem to be relatively calm. Uh, the police has managed to block the delegates and now uh, the electoral commission is equally setting up their, their, their polling booth to ensure that this election is conducted under peace and, 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 and safe ground. And those are the scenes uh, from Mokaikwe South. Uh, a lot of turbulence there as the constituency elections uh, are in the offing. EC officials managed to get through the school's uh, gates, but we saw the pelting of stones, the engagement, physical engagement of police officers and uh, more. Uh, very sad situation. But let me come quickly into the studio right before we go on the grounds and find out what the latest is. Four people have been arrested thus far. Raymond Akwa, uh, who is uh, also on our political desk, uh, joins me. It's, uh, not, right here. it's not strange. I mean, right from yesterday, the complaints are coming. To be fair, the rules are pretty clear. Now, the MPP Constitution in 17.2 says that the people should vote in the, uh, specifically, the people should vote in the election, mm. uh, those who are being put together by the national constitution of the party. It talks about the constituents of every member of that particular uh, police station that were first put in there. So let's not get it wrong. A chairman of the original council of elders would together form the constituency's election committee. Right. When they form the election committee, next thing they have to do is virtually everybody who wants to contest will apply. Mm. If you apply, you go through the processes. 
Now, the process has been so detailed that it is shocking why we are having this happening on the ground when basically the guys who were on their old album knew fully well those who want to be there mm. and those who should not be there. Now, every member but, of a but, but, party... But, but there is an expiration date. Yes. Why, why should we even have the promise that there are going to be new delegates and yet the old ones can also participate in the process? Because that is what they are alleging happened, which is why they, are also, they also feel aggrieved. Yes, but that's where I have a difficulty. Why would anybody promise anything beyond what the constitution of the party says are the qualifications for becoming a delegate? And that is the gray area. You, you cannot create your own delegate list. It's because we not also want people who are not even qualified to be there. That's why the party made it very clear. And let's not forget that not long ago, the general secretary issued a statement detailing again, because this thing was coming up again. Exactly. The people who are qualified to not only be members of the election committee, Members of the uh, there's a dispute resolution committee, mm -hmm. alternative dispute resolution committee to Which the party. Has, has pointed yes. out that if you have an issue, go there. The, the, there go are there processes and let the party that rectify it within. In fairness, if the people as of yesterday knew their names were not even on the list, why didn't they petition the right bodies? Because they there's been talk today that yes. some injunction has been sought and all of yeah. that. And the police officer, you know, the ACP was telling them that if you have an injunction. You let the process go on. If you do have an injunction, produce it in court, and then it nullifies everything. You know, but to be happening. fair, if there's an injunction already filed and it's mm -hmm. served on the Electoral Commission of on the ground, mm -hmm. why should anybody proceed to do an election? Th that is the question. But, but, but I, it appears that as of the time, the commanding officer there, the okay. ACP, they were not aware of they, any they did not have the copy, know, the, the to, copy serve them. to serve them. But, yeah. so, so that is, that is where... But this is not strange. It's because, and, and we should expect more of this happening in other constituencies because mm. two big things are going to happen. The MPPs are at the crossroads. Now, some members of parliament have been deemed to be very competent and have delivered on the job and ought not to be replaced. Others are also seeking the welfare of who should be the flag bearer of the party. Right. So these wonderful people that are going to be elected, they're going to be part of those who are going to participate in the bigger election of who becomes leader of and, the and, party. And we'll come back to that. Yes. Because so it's, it's not even it, why There are two fights people, happening on the exactly. ground. One for who becomes the member of parliament, right. and also a bigger one for who becomes the uh, flag bearer of the party. But, but, but we'll come back to that issue. Uh, let, let's cross over to Park with C. Parker Wilson now. Uh, he's also on the ground, and he's interacting with uh, the police officers. Uh, Parker, so what is the latest that you gather uh, from there? Okay, let's go. David, we are going. So we're connecting with uh, Parker, see Parker Wilson. The election supposedly is uh, starting. Uh, currently at where the Electoral Commission has set up their polling booth and you see the delegates who have queued getting ready to cast their ballot for this year's election. So, I mean, for the constituency election. And I, I will engage the uh, Divisional Commander for Kandeshi District, ACP uh, uh, Kumi, who has been with me since morning. And I see a bit of a bruises on his face and some arrest has been made. But first of all, sir, um, now, where are we with the process? I saw you doing some inspection. Where are we with the process? Okay, so far, as you said, we've been able to bring the few security challenge that we had earlier on under control. And then the voting has started. The delegates, from what we've been told, have uh, accreditation. They've been given some form of accreditation cards. And therefore, what we do is uh, we check the accreditation card from the gate, and then we allow you entry. You come, you join the queue, you vote, and then that's it. So all the people here have accreditation with their cards. Is that what it is? Yes, they all have. I see. But I, again, I realize that in the midst of the chaos, you arrested some people. How many have you arrested officially? Uh, for now, you know, it's a security situation. In the crowd are still outside there. I don't want to get them agitated. So I'll keep that one to my chest for now. But can you assure the viewers and those who are home, perhaps who want to stay away from the trouble and later come and catch the ballot, that there is peace here at Okanque constituency, Prince of Peace International School, and that any delegate who has accreditation can come and vote? Yes. You are a witness to what we've been able to do so far. And the situation is very calm. And anybody who is supposed to cast his or her vote at the Prince of Peace School, within the Okanque South constituency, that person is welcome and we are prepared to give the person the necessary security support for him or her to cast his or her vote freely and then go back.
to his or her workplace or the premises. ACP Kumi, thank you very much. He is the uh, divisional commander for Kaneshi. I just saw the NP, member of parliament, uh, Dakwa Newman, around. Uh, we are told that she just came around to also inspect the process. So uh, there she is, inspecting the process, and you know that she has been alleged of, I mean, she has been accused of allegedly deleting names of uh, some delegates in the voters register so she's going through the process also equally going to cast her ballot for the constituency election and we are hoping that we'll engage her briefly after she's done with casting of a ballot but all the delegates you see those who have queued uh, are people who are here to participate in the election there is peace of course um, at the moment uh, those who are fomenting troubles have been asked to stay outside until they come down and assure that when they gain entry to the premises they will conduct themselves appropriately the police will not give them the opportunity to be here but those who are here have assured the police and they have all the accreditation to go through the process safely so uh, the development or the update is that Okankwe sad constituency the election has started and there is peace uh, here and of course the MP herself is also here trying to cast their ballot Parker, thank you so much uh, for connecting uh, with us and uh, still stay uh, so that we can get a, a better understanding of what exactly is happening there as far as the process is concerned. But let me come back into, uh, into the studio as we wrap. And from here, uh, we'll be going, uh, you know, bringing you some details about what is happening in the Subing constituency as well, because there's, there's, there, there are similar scenes uh, there. Uh, when we commence with new news desk, uh, Kojo Brace will bring details of that but coming back into the studio did we just see a, a police officer uh, uh, you know delegate a, a man did we just see that that's my problem I mean I'm confused the, because we saw him you, you had to tell me that yes. wait, he is going to and I said no it can't yeah. be possible but but he actually went into a booth he took the ballot paper went into the booth appeared to be dropping in there except he's conducting some other exercise that we are not aware of but the, no, I, this is this is <laughs> one of the weirdest things yeah, that i've ever it's seen it's interesting maybe it's not taking neutrality allowance anyway now article 727 of the mpp's constitution is pretty clear it says members of the executive constituency executive committee those who are who form the annual delegates conference that the constituency's annual delegate conference members of the constituency executive committee all electoral area coordinators, all five police station executives from all police stations in the constituency, five members of the constituency council of elders, mm. five members of the constituency council of patrons, and any founding member from the constituency. Okay. Except he falls within this criteria. And and and, and, and even uh, so, so one uh, Delali J O says, "Hey, I can see a police officer voting as well, oh, <laughs> even even on our live stream." Yeah. Uh, it, it is pretty interesting. Uh, we'll be bringing you news news desk shortly with more from the Okaikwe South uh, constituency, as well as Subin, the Subin constituency, where there are similar scenes, and uh, it appears. Uh, the constituency elections of the MPP are not going to be without uh, some of these uh, scenes. We're, we're seeing quite a number of them uh, even as we go. But maybe your final words, uh, Raymond, as we connect. Uh, I'm, I'm just uh, hoping that they can control. So far, we've seen some isolated cases. Mm. Hope it's not nationwide because the stakes in this election and the future of it is very important. Mm. Whether or not, and, and Isaac Osmond was saying that barely um, uh, two weeks ago, whether or not the NPP is able to break the eight is dependent partly on the internal elections and how people are grieved or are willing to support what happens at right. the end of the day going right. forward. So these are critical elections. And of course, he was predicting a slim win yeah, uh, in the presidential the elections for yes. the party. But on the yeah. back of this, uh, we yeah. do not know how yeah. things will pan out. But thank you so